Hey, how many of you guys have tried to create some sort of change in your life only to find yourself right back at square one? Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about traversing the river of change. You see, no matter what change it is that we're making, we all have to traverse this river of change. This concept I learned from Dr. Joe Dispenza many years ago. And when I heard it, I fell in love with it. Why? Because it explains human nature and explains what each of us go through when we're making that change. So first of all, in order to make a change, we have to make a decision. Making that decision is what creates the beginning of the change. And that's usually made with your willpower. You step into the river of change. And as you step in and you start to traverse it, all of a sudden the doubts start to show up in your mind and every doubt you've ever had starts to run through your mind. You keep going on because you're determined. You, you've decided you're going to do this. Well, as you keep going across, you get about halfway across this river of change and all of a sudden the fear kicks in. Once fear kicks in, your brain goes into overdrive and is in protective mode. And it starts reminding you of every single failure you've ever had in the department of where you're trying to change. It will throw up every single fear you've ever had. You keep going. And as you get about three quarters across, all of a sudden you're in the unknown. You're no longer who you used to be, but you're not yet who you want to be. This is the most dangerous point of any time we're trying to make change. This is the critical moment because when you sit in the unknown, that is when the mind has gone into overdrive and it's trying to get you to go back to what you already know. It throws out every single fear you've ever faced. It gives you every proof you've ever known of why it's not working. When you get to this point, there are a few things you can do. You can start with the present moment awareness. You can remind yourself of what you want to do. You can tap. You can use tapping to take off that intensity, telling your brain to stop. Keep your eye focused on what you do want because you're only a couple steps away from the success that you want. Getting comfortable in the uncomfortable or getting comfortable in the unknown is how you start to create the change you want in your life. 